Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to see some examples using properties of vectors. Let us say, uh, in this example, let's take a simple example. In this example, if u is a vector which has negative 4, comma 6 as components, and if we have another vector v which has components 3, comma 4, we want to find we want to find, let me write this again, we want to find the values of the following things. One, how do we represent half of vector u? How do we represent um, vector u minus vector v? How do we represent one half of vector u plus vector v. Okay, so let us see that. The first one here is we want to represent one half u, one half of vector u. So how do we do this? One half is a scalar quantity and the vector v, the vector u has components negative 4 comma 6. Therefore, the way we do this is as follows. We're going to use the distribution property and then distribute this one half to every one of the terms inside this comp this this parenthesis here. So the way we can write this one out is as follows. One half times negative four is negative four over two, comma. One half times six is six over two, like that. So four is a multiple of two, therefore we can simplify that as negative two. And then 6 is the multiples of 2, therefore it simplifies to 3. So negative 2 comma 3 is the way we can represent that. Okay? We, will, we can also represent this in a graphical, may, graphical way and we will do that in, uh, we will do that right now. Okay? If we were to, let's say, draw a graph like this and if we were to say these are the points we have, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the y axis. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So the vector u has negative um, four, comma six, isn't it? So in here, this is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4. And here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? And this is the origin at 0 here. Now here, the vector u can be represented as um, negative 4 and 6. We are going to go 4 units on the negative x-axis and 6 units on the positive y-axis. So we're going to go here. We're going to go right there. So this is the point we are interested in. So that point is negative 4 comma 6. So if we were to draw a straight line here from the origin, this is our vector, vector u. Now we have calculated half of vector u and half of vector u is negative 2 comma 3 isn't it so if I were to come back here and then say how do I represent um, half of vector u it is going to be two units on the negative y, uh, x axis and three units on the positive y axis so if I come here if I were to come here this point here is going to be is going to be one half of vector u one half of vector u and therefore and uh, the co the ordinates for this one is negative 2 comma 3 so we can when we, we can uh, represent a vector and then we can represent a scalar multiplication of a vector uh, as shown here next let, let us look at how to do the second part of the equation here second part of the question here is um, we want to know how to simplify this vector u minus vector v vector u minus vector v vector u 
the components of vector u are negative 4 comma 6 and minus the components of v are 3 comma 4 okay and the way to simplify the these are as follows we're going to we're going to take um, negative 4 the first component of the first vector and then subtract the first component of the second vector comma the second component of the first vector minus the second component of the second vector like that and therefore when we simplify this this is going to come out as negative 4 plus negative 3 is negative 7 and then 6 minus 4 is 2 so when we combine two vectors the resulting the the result is also going to the result is going to be uh, a vector in in uh, which will have two components as well <clears throat> and the way to represent this one is as follows so if i were to draw a graph for this and if i were to draw a graph for this and if this is the origin and if this is one two three four on the y-axis one two three four and on the x-axis if i have one two three four five six seven negative one negative two negative three negative four negative five negative six negative seven so the components of this combination of uh, u, u minus v vector is on the x-axis we have 7 and on the y-axis we have positive 2 so we're going to go up two units from here and that is our location so we're going to start from the origin and then draw a straight line from there and therefore this should be right at the origin here my straight line is not very straight <laughs> So therefore, this point here is the ordinates for this r. The ordinates for this are negative seven comma two, and this is the vector u minus v. U minus v, and that is how we can represent uh, these these vectors. When we we can represent a vector, and we can also represent uh, the result of result of combination of vectors like this the way we have shown it here the third one we have here is as follows the third example we wanted to look at was um, one half of vector u plus vector v and how do we simplify that we have seen that we have seen that one half of vector u vector u was given to us as negative 4 comma 6 the components of vector u was negative 4 comma 6 and the components of vector v are 3 comma 4 and that is what was given to us and if we were to simplify this we're going to distribute this one half to every one of the terms inside this so therefore when we do that one half times negative 4 is going to be negative 2, 4 divided by 2 will be negative 2 and then 6 times 1 half is going to be 6 divided by 2 which is going to be 3 therefore uh, that is that is 1 half of vector u plus vector v so we're going to now combine these two and when we combine these two this is how it's going to result we're going to take the first component of the first vector and then add the second a first component of the second vector comma we take the second component of the first vector and then add the second component of the second vector like that so negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1 comma 3 plus 4 is 7 so that is the result of that one half vector u plus vector v and the way to represent this vector is as follows if we were to draw a graph like that if I were to draw a graph like this and if I were to say this is the origin and these are the points I have 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 
if I need more points I'll come back and then pick those points this is negative 1 this is negative 2 this is negative 3 and we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 4 5 6 and 7 so in here 1 comma 7 how do we represent that we travel one unit on the x axis and we travel seven units on the y axis so that is the point we're looking at so we start from the origin and then we draw a straight line all the way till the origin like that and this is the point and this is the vector which is representing one half of u plus the vector v one half of vector u plus a, a full of vector v so this point here is one comma seven and this is the way we want to be able to simplify vectors to do simple operations with vectors and at the same time be able to see a visual on a graph sheet in the of, of this type in my next presentation we shall look at some more examples using the properties of vectors